how exactly do I find my purpose in life? And there isn't necessarily one answer, but I do want to share a few different ideas and topics so that you can potentially do some introspective work for yourself to be able to find your purpose. Everybody is put on this earth by God to become the best version of themselves. That's number one, and that is the most important point that you have to understand. Because when you realize that God put you here to become a high level entity in the human form, you begin to search and move through life with a different understanding than previously. Because most people move through life and they think that their purpose is what they were told when they were kids, which is go to school, go get your dream job, or at least work to maybe get the dream job, but you're most likely gonna you know, be a slave and work a job you don't like just so you could become a super mediocre version of your highest potential and pay taxes, et cetera, et cetera. If you know how the loop and you know rabbit hole goes, then I won't have to continue going any further. But you get my point, is that everything from the beginning of your life is put in a way for you to fail so that you don't find your purpose in life. That is why number one is so important. Your purpose in life needs to be derived from some level of striving to become simply a better version of who you currently are. So if today you're struggling with going to the gym and eating well and all of these things that you know you should be doing, but a part of you just can't get yourself to commit to it, then that is a micro goal on a more macro level for your entire life. Like if you don't accomplish the micro goal, then you're never gonna even get to the macro goal. So an example would be tomorrow, I'm gonna go to the gym and I'm gonna hit a 30 minute workout. It doesn't matter what you do exactly, but what matters is that you win that day by winning that activity and slowly over time it'll be developed and and put into your daily routine and you won't have to have these dialogues in your mind with yourself anymore. Become the best version of yourself, number one. Number two, treat everyone around you genuinely as if they themselves are extremely close to you. And what I mean by this is the way you treat your friends, the way you treat your family, ideally, you know, if they treat you well, you treat them good. So it's a good relationship in an ideal situation. I understand that there's exceptions to the rules and not everyone falls under this category. But you have to treat everyone around you as if you would like to be treated. And maybe you understand that as like one of the golden rules, quote unquote, like that we were taught in elementary school. But in order to achieve some sort of masculine excellence, you have to become a person that people can like. People are only going to like you if you are a good individual and provide some sort of value to them. So that's number two. Number three, become the person that you want to become by thinking the thoughts that you believe that person would be thinking. Because your thoughts 
manifest into emotions and your emotions manifest into actions. So, if you have negative thoughts, that will manifest into negative emotions and those negative emotions will manifest into negative actions and you won't become anybody worth becoming. You'll look down upon yourself. You'll view, view yourself in a negative light. Potentially all the things that you already perceive about yourself, if that is you. On the contrary, if you think positivity, you give positivity, you feel positive emotions, then you can act out of a, out of a positive light, right? If you're acting out of a positive light, that gives you a superpower because everything in this world is made up of vibrations. What that simply means is whatever you, whatever you attract in life, it's only going to come to you if you like have that train of thought. So you think one thought and then that becomes a positive emotion. And when you feel that positive emotion, you act on it, right? So the three most important things. Act in a way to improve who you are as an individual to become the highest version of yourself. Because that is how God intended it. Number two, treat everyone around you not only the way you want to be treated, but the way you know the best version of yourself would treat those people. Number three, think positive thoughts because that will manifest into positive emotions. Those positive emotions will be translated and converted outwards into the universe and also the physical realm as positive actions. And somebody who acts in a positive way is going to receive positive things back towards them. If you're able to follow these three things, you will get closer and closer and closer to deprogramming the current version of yourself and actually finding your purpose. Because my purpose is different than your purpose, who's different than your parents' purpose, who's different than your brother and sister's purpose, different than your friend's purpose, your cousin, your uncle, your aunt, your grandma, your grandpa. Everyone has a different purpose and a different role. And the only way you're able to find that is if you act in a way that God intended and that the best version of yourself would act. But in order to do those two things, you have to think in the way that that person that you want to become, the highest version of yourself, would think. Which, like I said, will become positive emotions and then that will translate into positive action. This is the formula that I personally use for myself in order to inch closer and closer and closer to my goals and also finding my purpose. And I think I have found what my purpose is, which I will keep disclosed for now. But the moral of the story is you're not going to find it overnight. You find it through introspection and deep analysis on your current life. And a lot of you don't want to do that. And a lot of you aren't going to be willing to do the deep thought and the deep work. It really comes down to how badly do you really want to become the best version of yourself, discover your purpose, so you feel fulfillment. If you feel fulfillment, life no longer is mundane, boring, depressing, sad, miserable, any negative emotion that you're currently feeling. It's no longer that because you have a meaning. You have a purpose behind what you do on a day-to-day -day basis. <laughs> so... If you need help with any of that and are looking to become 
the best version of yourself, subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment your thoughts and what you think your purpose is and what you think is the biggest thing holding you back. And I will respond to you because I respond to every comment. Have a great day or evening. And just remember, act as if God intended. Become the best version of yourself by thinking deeper and deeper and deeper and analyzing what actions you're currently taking and are they serving you and do some of them need to be removed and squandered to make way for new habits and new actions to form into my life. If you do that, you're going to be good. And you're going to notice success start coming towards you.